Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, September 7th, 2010. Well, folks, the markets are trading slightly lower today, and I hope everyone had a fantastic three-day weekend. Yesterday, the markets were closed in the U.S. for Labor Day holiday. Now, again, as we get into trading today, you are seeing a little bit of downside. For those of you that watched my weekend technical analysis update or last Friday's nightly uh, video, if you're part of the Research Center, you guys know we talked about a fair possibility the market was short-term extended going into that holiday session. Therefore, we could see a small pullback in play. Sure enough, today, we are seeing that pullback. The spiders are down about $1 on the day. The Dow is down 87 points. NASDAQ down about 18. And the S&P 500 down about 10.5, really just underneath 1%. And after a 6% move in about three days, and again, if you go to your daily chart here, or even your 60-minute, we'll start out with the daily chart, you can see the three-bar surge. One, two, three, going right into this gap window. Sure enough, major resistance. We talked about this to my premium members in the Research Center. By the way, folks, just a little heads up, that Research Center includes everything listed under the Research Center. So much information, so many calls, swing trades, analysis, tidbits, education, guidance, you name it. It's all included in that Research Center. So if you get one Research Center, you will get it all, $49.99 a month, all right? In any case, notice the resistance here on the daily chart. Gap window, we call this on Friday. A little bit of a pullback today, nothing major. And again, I don't expect a major pullback. I think this is just consolidation or a small pullback, maybe lasting for a couple days until we get some more upside in this market, possibly heading towards the gap fill on the daily chart. If you go to the 60-minute chart, you can see really what happened. I talked about this in the weekend technical analysis video, and my members knew about this last week. But you can see the head and shoulder pattern, which is a bearish pattern. But I had called out when I saw this pattern that it was a high percentage chance of failure. And again, a bear, bear pattern, which is a head and shoulder pattern, would dictate that you would go lower. But noticing that it was at the low of the chart, I said to my members, this is going to fail. All the amateurs are going to think this is going to be a drop and a collapse in the market, plus the Hindenburg Omen getting mentioned over and over again. I said, no, not so fast. It's at the low of the chart. High percentage chance it fails. Look for the upside. Look at what the market does. Unbelievable. Goes up here, gap window area, and then pulls back today. Notice where you're pulling back to. See this little gap fill area right here? on the 18th this is the 18th of august that little pivot is exactly where we've come into this green trend line and you can see that's where we're pausing if we get through that level this is where you're going next down to gap fill which would be right around 109.45 which again we have a possibility of getting there because what you're doing is you're forming an in spirit of bear flag here i wouldn't be surprised if by tomorrow if not today by tomorrow we just float down into this level right down here plus the 20 moving average should be a little bit of support now, going back to the intraday 10-minute, one thing I want to draw your attention to is you had initially a gap down, and you went right to the 50 moving average. That held one candle, held two candles, and then that creates an in-spirit of bear flag. Do you guys see that pattern there? You have a gap down, which essentially is a bar down right there, and then you go sideways for two candles. That creates an in-spirit of bear flag, telling you there's more downside. Then the market falls again, so it plays out the bear flag pattern. And then you start to create another bear flag pattern here. Now, the one thing I just told my members in the intraday stock chat, and let me just erase some of these lines so we keep the charts very simple. One thing I told them was that as you made this beautiful in spirit of bear flag, the possibility of it playing out becomes a little less. It's diminished slightly. Now, you might say, well, why is that? And the reason is, believe it or not, is because the volume in midday is much, much lighter. And volume in bearish movements is very, very key, meaning that if you have very, very light volume in a bear flag pattern or a bear flag situation, you will not necessarily see that pattern play out because the light volume always has a neutral to upside bias. So again, notice how you had a bear flag and it keeps going and going and going, and each time it tries to break down, it tried to break down right here, you see the tail, and it bounced up. When again, then again, it tried right here. Now it's getting a little bit of a bounce up. That's the light volume effect, and as a trader, you need to understand that and not necessarily assume that all bear flags are created equal because they are not. Absolutely not. Angles matter, patterns matter, time of day and volume matters. And this is, again, things that we teach you so you can do it for yourself. You become a whiz. You become a millionaire. Bottom line, all right? In any case, join the Research Center, folks, or the chat room. Unbelievable stuff. Market is upticking here. You still have a bear flag. And again, eventually, I do think that maybe later today or tomorrow, you come down to this gap fill area. But I don't think there's a ton of downside, to be honest with you, not before we see a little bit more upside, all right? Uh, a couple other things I want to go over in this intraday video, folks. Number one, I think there were some key charts that alerted us to the Research Center, and we talked to the Research Center and chat room that you might be looking for a small pullback. Those charts would be charts like JP Morgan. And this was added to the ProTrader watch list, bearish watch list. 
list. So as of Friday, it was added to the bearish watch list. It is playing out beautifully to that call down 73 cents. Another fantastic call via the Research Center for all of our members. But one thing that alerted me to this, simply put, look at the gap fill. Here's your gap fill on the chart going back to the 10th of August. And look at what happened Friday. We ran right up into it, and that's your resistance line. So off of resistance, you generally will see a pullback. What happens today, folks? JP Morgan pulls back beautifully. All right, so just right there. I mean, that's a beautiful situation. In addition, Goldman Sachs, same general chart pattern. Here's your area of, of resistance and gap fill area. You can see gap fill plus a couple consolidation candles. You go right up there. Today, you pull back. Notice how you pulled back deeply into that 50 moving average and since then have bounced back above the 50 and above the 20 moving average. Apple Computer, very interesting chart. Really one of the stronger charts today. Uh, had moved up beautifully and gone really parabolic over the last few sessions. It's really flat today, which is a good showing. Considering the markets are weak, this stock is doing all right today. Uh, resistance on this, where is this going to be if it continues higher? This is going to be my shorting level on the charts right up here at around 265. That's a great little pivot top. If it gets up there, you look for a one- or two-day pullback and then maybe a break through that, maybe going to the high levels up here if it were to get through that line. Only if it gets through this line at that point. All right, But again, it could be a scalp swing trade short at that 265 level most likely. All right, let's go on to a couple other charts here. How's Exxon performing today? Exxon getting a little bit of a pullback. Another great little chart. See this little tail in this gap area right in here? All right, we'll just take that line, draw it right across from the high. See the little tail? It went right up there. Gap fill per the tail of the chart. And then again, a small pullback. And Chevron, same general thing. Chevron, look at this little pivot top right in here. Right across area, right in here. You can see clearly there's a gap window, gap fill up here, goes right up there, and then gets a little bit of a pullback. Look at the extension move as well. We talk about how extension moves, and even if you go back to the SPY on the daily chart, one, two, three bar surges generally lead to a small pullback situation, and that's exactly what we're getting here. So again, good job for those of us that were watching the uh, Pro Trader watch list on Friday. And again, we entered a short position on Friday as well via the hot charts and alerts, and that continues to look very, very good uh, for all of us out there that are playing some of these plays. All right, uh, lastly, what I want to do is just touch on the dollar. Dollar's having a big move today, folks. This is a sizable move, but one thing I have to say is that even though you're having a big move up on the dollar, you still have to get through the 50 moving average. Notice how you hit the 50 right here, right here, and now you're coming up to it again. Until you get through the 50, you really can't consider the dollar having been broken out here. So again, just be aware of that. Yes, the dollar's having a big move today, actually a huge move, but it hasn't technically broken out yet, and I think we need to be aware of that. In tune with that, oil getting a big pullback down 61 cents. Well, not a big pullback, but that's a solid pullback considering the markets. Um, and then gold, folks. Gold, very important. Gold having a great day. It hit 123.06, only about 50 cents below the all-time high of 123.56, actually exactly 50 cents below that. And this, again, is going to be the big resistance level right up here. And this is the big resistance. You're not far off. Gold continues to be in play. A lot of the small cap gold stocks have really been romping as well. AAU, VGZ, I mean, unbelievable charts. Take a look at this AAU chart as well. Unbelievable chart. And VGZ is the other one. There's a bunch of them out there, but these are just two examples. Small cap gold plays just ripping higher ridiculously. Now, would I chase those? Absolutely not. I mean, those things are ridiculously overbought. But there are other small cap plays out there most likely that are of interest. And again, if I decide to pick anything up, I will let the hot charts and alerts people know. And again, that's if you're in the research center, you get the hot charts and alerts. All right, lastly, what I just want to point out, uh, NTWK. This is a beautiful little play. This was the hidden gem, folks, via the research center. Just another thing you get in the research center, by the way. And look at this stock parabolic move. Basically, anyone who bought it on my, my alert at $0.77 cents is upwards of 35% in the money on that play. Unbelievable move on NTWK on the hidden gem play. And again, those hidden gems, assuming the market's good, come out monthly. If the market's not that great, they come out by you know every couple months or, or uh, uh, every you know whenever the market allows for them to be placed out there. But they're amazing plays, folks. The track record last year for 2009, I think 129% average return per hidden gem play uh, every month. It was unbelievable. All right, in any case, folks, we encourage you to come join the uh, intraday stock chat if you want intraday analysis. Even if you're just looking for consulting, you can always ask questions in the intraday stock chat. Otherwise, if you're looking for the overall swing trade type guidance, education, and plays and swing trades, then the Research Center is for you. $49.99 a month, a steal of a deal, obviously, by the calls that are made in there. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow.